Hey everyone, Stubbs Illa here and this will be episode 2 of our Denver Nuggets NBA 2K15 My GM series. Uh, we're going to get right into it here because uh, we, we ain't got shit to do. As Chris Tucker might say. Um, okay, Simcast. Um, going into the OKC game. I'm expecting a loss, but you never know. Um, I also want to put something out there. Uh, I'm gonna look at Isaiah Austin. Um, I don't know how many other uh, my GMs. I don't know how many of them use him, but it's gonna be something that I look at. Um, I think he gives something different to Nurkic, and we can mit or you can definitely move on Hicks and uh, that being the case, and maybe find him his forever home because he's been moved around a lot, and um, he used to stay somewhere I think. So we need to find him a team where he can stay. <laughs> anyway, uh, give less minutes to Gary Harris. No. Uh, let's get into it. Okay. Uh, yeah, the expected, expected lead. They've kind of run away with it here. And come on, let's try and keep it close. Let's not get blown out by OKC. Well, it's OKC, so you kind of expect to get blown out, I guess. But come on, let's keep it competitive. Uh, maybe, no, no, okay. Not competitive at all. Um... 26 point blowout. Excellent. Good work. Uh, let's see who did what. Okay, so Tobias Harris, he had a decent game. 20 points, 2 blocks, a steal, 4 rebounds, no turnovers. Hickson had 12 points, 4 rebounds, a steal, no turnovers. Fareed, uh, 6 boards, 12 points. Oladipo, 11 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 turnovers. That's not great. Uh, Jermaine Nelson, uh, 4 assists, 6 points, Nurkic, 11 boards, so again, he's getting it done on the glass, uh, 6 points, Chandler, 5 points, uh, Boozer, 4 points, Kendall Marshall couldn't have had a great game, no, 2 rebounds, 9 assists though, uh, went 0 for 5 and 0 for 2 from behind the strip, that's not good, uh, yeah, so not a great game, not a great game at all, offense, um, by the looks of things, just didn't really get anything going. Um, I'm sure that, yeah. I'm gonna wait, obviously, for our scouting to come through as well. Um, that's one thing that I do really like doing. So, oh, here we go. We got our oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so against the Kings, um, we, well, hopefully, we should get a result here. Obviously, Demarcus Cousins is a big threat on the Kings, but and they're a young side coming up. But oh, they're handling this right now. <laughs> um, okay, so they they pretty much destroyed us. Um, what a horrid third third quarter that was. Wow, wow. Okay, so they pretty much did us in the second and third. Uh, it started out quite close, I guess. Uh, Harris again top scored for us. Uh, Fareed, four turnovers, and Depot three turnovers. That's not good. Um, Marshall, no turnovers, seven assists. So, I mean, <laughs> he's just not hitting shots. Need to hit shots. That's that's really all I can say. Uh, Nurkic, Novak, didn't really do anything on six minutes. Neither did Nelson, really. Harris at 8 points. Nah, okay. So that sucks. <laughs> um, two losses in a row. Let's try and see if we can snap this. Uh, daybreak, and then we travel to Sacramento. And more of the same, thus far, it seems. Um, both offenses. We've got it going, and yep. <laughs> Sacramento just turning it up a little bit. Oh, we managed to nip in front. Big third quarter from us, but they're up and up the fourth strong. And we close out strong, okay. So we lose two on a bounce, but then we get uh, we go get to two and two. Uh, split a two games back to back against the Kings, one and one. Uh, Oladipo, 17 points, seven assists. That's pretty good. Three blocks, that's very good. Only one turnover. Three, 15 points, 10 rebounds. Nice double double from him and a turnover, two blocks. Tobias Harris, 14 points, 2 turnovers, me. Also Chandler, 13 points from the bench. 
JJ, 8 points, 5 boards from the bench. Marshall, 7 and 11. Only 2 for 8 again. He can't hit shots. That's probably going to be something that... If... I mean, we need to start giving him less shots and finding ways of getting the ball out of his hands um, before he takes a shot or... Nah, nah, I don't know. But... Bump had a good game. Boozer, Nurkic, they both had good games. Nelson, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so not mad. Two and two start. It's, um, it's probably not going to be a playoffs year from us, it has to be said. But, um... Sorry, navigating. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not going to be a playoffs year from us, uh, I don't think, by any stretch. But, hey, you never know. You never know. Cleveland, at home. Let's see what we can do here. Can we do anything against LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love? Probably not. But let's just have a, a quick look anyway, shall we? We'll simcast this. Um, okay, it's pretty even. I'm just sort of waiting for one team to kind of explode, and is it us? No, nope, the Cavs have pulled right back in the third. An absolute explosion of offense from them in the third and the fourth. Wow, okay. All right, so Wilson Chandler isn't happy about something. I imagine it's probably his minutes, uh, or his role at least. Um, we'll just skip that for now, just so we can see the box score. Harris, 19 and 11, that's, that's a good game. Two turnovers, that's not great though. Marshall, four turnovers, not great. A little bit better on the shooting this time though. 11, seven assists. Oladipo, 14 points. Three, 10 points, seven boards. Wilson Chandler, 11 points, eight boards. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so, I mean, Nurkic had a good game rebounding again. It's pretty stop start at the moment to be fair I mean, we we did well we were in that for a while he didn't happy with his current role um okay <laughs> we'll just dismiss him straight out of the hand he's like hey i uh, i really got something important to discuss with you he's like no get the fuck out no come on my door's always open though so what can i do for you uh, keep it simple there. I think I've been a starting spot on the team. No. No, that's, this is a loaded question either way, isn't it? Like, I'm not going to sit there and say a player's going to stew on the bench. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just... That's not cool. In fact, let's just... Let's just see. Well, Harris, I mean... There's no one I can really sub out. I, he's a half-decent trade asset, I guess. I mean, towards the end of the season, we can maybe pick up a draft pick or two, possibly, um, depending on how our season's looking. But, I mean, I can't... I don't see any way for him into the team. I can't put, I can't play him at the two because of Oladipo. I can't play him at the three because of Harris. So I mean, they're both better than him. So there's, there's unless I start playing him at point guard, I guess. But that's just not going to happen. Uh, Nurkic is fatigued. Okay. So I was worried that something dumb might happen like that. I'll give Hickson a few more minutes. I have to get no kitchen to a stamina camp or something uh, next season. So Portland, we've got Portland away then home. We've done that twice now uh, at the end of this. That'll be um, one against the Kings and then one against the Blazers. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Again, just an absolute tasting. Oh my God. Wow, okay. So, we're not a playoff team. I think that's become clear to me uh, in this episode. Uh, wow, okay. Mind you, I, suppose, I mean, it's, it's Damien Hillard. Come on. Like, 
We just can't seem to get anything going on offense. I'm probably going to have to have a look at the um, at the playbook and what have you. Oh, the deeper with two points. Two points. I mean, I like your rebounding and assists, but two points. I mean, five turnovers from Marshall. This is all going to have to be stuff that they improve on, but we know we're a young team and we know that this is all stuff that they're going to be eventually working on. Where are we at? Ten minutes? Um... You know, let's go 20. Let's go. Let's let's do a longish episode, I guess. Put my graphics card to work. Simcast. So we just can't even. We, we can't seem to get a decent start to games. I mean, I mean, this is good now, you know. But you just wait. Like this is the thing with our team. You just you're just waiting for defense to just go to pot but I mean we I mean okay so we've done okay there uh oh depot 19 uh four turnovers that's the turnovers aren't good I was gonna say this now the turnovers aren't great um three again a double double from him three steals as well that's good Chandler Marshall nine and nine two turnovers it's about much better game from him in the last game at least Novak, Boozer, Barton, Hickson. I'd want a little bit more out of Hickson if, if, we, if we're going to be playing him over 20 minutes. I'd want, I want more than that out of him. Um, but, I mean, I suppose it's okay. It's a good win over Portland, I guess. Um, paces, okay. Just before we're going to a back to back, we've got a rest there though, so it should be okay. Let's get to this Pacers game. Okay, so I managed to at least stay in this one. I don't want to jinx it. I probably have done now. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth quarter explosion there from the Pacers. Um, I wouldn't call that a bad performance by any stretch. I mean, it was... It was something that we kind of choked on a little bit, I guess. But it's a good game from Marshall, I guess. 15 points, 8 assists. Uh, he's doing well. Harris, 14 and 8. 3, 12 and 7. Over Depot, 11 and 4. 3 turnovers from him, though. That's not good. Um, yeah, same old, it seems. Turnovers. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Uh, Nurkic. Again, it's... Just seems to be lacking everywhere. Um, sorry, yeah, I, I scroll through that. That's a bit OCD on my part. Sorry. Um, it just seems to be lacking in in all areas. Scouting trips. Okay. Okay. So with regards to scouting trips, here's how I like to do it. I don't like. Um, is this going to be the rest of the episode? I think it probably is. What I like to do on the scouting trips, and I, I find this works, um, and that the people that I end up scouting end up going much higher than what they have any right to usually. Um, in fact, I'm probably not going to see anything on social media at first, so I'm probably going to have to go with the top rated guys or just take a punt. Oh no, here we go. So here we go. So there's a guy here, six seven center. That's not great, but I mean, what can you do? Um, eighth position rank, but we've got no percentage on scouting or anything like that. Um, but what I look for is who's talking about them on social media. You can usually guarantee that if someone's been spoken about, that they've got something about them. And it, it, it might be, yeah. He's now apparently on the radar of all NBA teams. He's not on mine, so we give him a scouting trip. And this is just how I like to do it. There's a, a couple of just guys that, by doing it this way, you'll just you'll just pick up. Um, but it'll be a best of a team draft with a lot of pick. Buyers and more. Uh, you see, okay, so. 
but I'm still going to have a look at him because it might be worth taking him with a second round pick. So he might be projected high on a few boards, but if he comes to us and he drops to us, then, you know, fantastic. We may be picking up. The future Cogan and NBA Championship team is by no means a complete player, but the possibility. There we go. We know nothing on him, and, you know, we got nothing on him, and, you know, there's two social media nuggets about him, both being. Um, yeah, both being very good. Um, Ivanovic, again, here we go. Now, not everything is positive. Uh, in this context, you know, but the the ones who people are talking about, you know, they're usually the ones that if there's some if there's something about them, then there's a reason that people are talking about them. It could be that they're a specialist. Uh, it could mean that they're underrated. That they might be. They might be sleepers, you know, you just never know. You never know what the case is, but it's always good just to go through everyone's... There you go, okay? Again, we know nothing about him. Let's have a look at him. And it may turn out that, you know, none of these these guys are nothing, but... Well, they might not turn out to be the best, or you might have sort of too many centers, you might have too many big men, you might be looking at, you might find you're looking at too many big men. You might not find that under the radar point guard that probably everyone's, that everyone wants to find, you know, but it's, it's, I, I, I understand it's arduous and I'm sorry that I'm going to take you all through it now as well, but it's worth doing. It really is worth doing because, ah, okay, so I can't. Look at anybody else. Um, Caleb Center. I remember that. And there you go. And then what we'll find is hopefully that we've got a good couple of players to look at. And obviously by the time it comes to pick the next round of people, uh, next round of prospects, then more people might be talking about more players on social media. You never know. So it might just be that they have one good game and that might be their social media nugget. That's probably not worth looking at, but you never know. So it's worth doing. That's how I scout anyway. Little, little nugget there. Uh, <laughs> you guys probably have it down better than me, but who knows. Let's get through this game against the Knicks. Oh dear. Okay. Now you see, there's a good reason why I kept my draft pick. <laughs> I always knew there was a good reason why I kept my 2015 pick. Uh, okay. Not, not good. Not good to be getting done like that against the Knicks. Marshall, not a good game from him. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be too sad on a lot of things here. You know, I'm not. I'm definitely not going to be biting on. You know, trades or anything like that. This is a young team. We set them up how we want them to be set up, or how I want them to be set up. And there'll be certain things that I look for. But if we keep playing these guys and we keep persisting and don't trade them, then eventually the team chemistry will go up, and you know, hopefully we'll get we'll get our rewards for persistence. But I think I think Wilson Chandler is probably going to be a good um, good bit of draft bait. Um, I tell you what, let's do this one and the Thunder one, and then we'll probably call it an episode there, I think. Let's set it up. Uh, okay, yeah, same, same old, same old. Oh, but we're, we're kind of hanging in there, I guess. Maybe something drastic here, possibly? No, no, no. Ah, that's... That's disappointing, but we hung in there against the Cavs, so I'm not too disheartened with that. Uh, again, Oladipo and Harris had big games for us. Hickson had a big game uh, on limited minutes as well, so that's good. Marshall went for a double-double, uh, 12 points, 12 assists, can't knock that. Nurkic, 10 points, 6 boards. Uh, Fareed, uh, if we had a little bit more out of Fareed, then maybe 
And maybe a little more out of Chandler. See, that's... He had a very good start to the season. He had a very good game, but I mean... Eight points a game on that many minutes? Like... Is that... I don't know. Is that is that expected from him? I, I don't know. I, I always envisioned him to be a player who could get a bit more... Who had a bit more offense than that, but... Again, what do I know? Um, yeah, so last game here. Okay, see at home. Let's see if we can just hang in with these guys as well. And it, was, it was a good performance against Cleveland, so if we can hang in against OKC as well, then we can see some signs of improvement. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, they've, they've seen us off quite soundly. Let's see the box. Harris, 17 points. Marshall, 16 points, 5 assists, and a steal. So that's okay. Oladipo, too many turnovers again. Hickson. Uh, 11 points, Chandler 10 points, see 10 and 8 off the bench, I can I can deal with, but I mean, Nurkic didn't have enough going, Fareed didn't have enough going for him, Novak 1 point <laughs> off of 6 minutes, Barton no points off 11 minutes, uh, yeah, and Jermaine Nelson as well, 0 points, okay. he, but he's not, I, I suppose you can excuse that because he's not a... I've, I've never seen him be, like, be portrayed as a score first point. Uh, where are we at? Um, okay, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to simulate out the rest of the month uh, instead of doing simcast. Um, the episodes are probably going to be a bit longer because I am, am going to try and simulate for each month uh, all the way. In fact, no. Um, Ignore me, let me just do this now, because why not, eh? The episodes for this are probably going to be a bit longer uh, than, than what they should be, what they have any right to be at least. Uh, I'm sure you know about this already, but just wanted to remind you, we have a game coming up against Anthony Davis, who's, in the league's absolute, who's one of the league's absolute best power forwards. You should take a look at the game plan for the Pelicans to make sure we handle it correctly. Let's just say we'll change, and then don't. <laughs> um, I, can't, I, I honestly don't know how you can game plan for Anthony Davis, so let's just let's just hit and hope, I guess. We seem to be doing okay. Big lead. Yeah, this is a big lead going into the fourth now. You would hope that we can close this out. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good win. Um, bit panicky towards the end there, but uh, that's a good win. Uh, for it, well, yeah. Let's put your best against our best and let's see who comes out on top, motherfucker. Yeah, get in there, Farouk. 21-5, two blocks, no turnovers. Wilson Chandler, 20 points off the bench, four boards, one steal on the turnovers. JJ, 19 points, seven boards, two turnovers. Harris, 14 points, Boozer, 10 points. So it was a game where um, our forwards and centers got it done. Um, Harris, seven points, Oladipo, only six points. Novak 6 points, Nelson 5, Nurkic 4 with 10 boards, Marshall 2 and 9 assists. I'm liking Marshall. I do like this guy. I think he's going to be a good pickup for us. Um, I mean, you can, you can never know for sure, but... I like, I like pass first guys, so... I'm staying, we're staying with it. We're going to stay the course with them. Uh, at the Lakers. You see, you can never tell. Because they are bad. But it's just Kobe. You just never know. Like Kobe could go off at any point if his knees don't fall off first. Yeah, okay. They sort of dealt with us there a little bit. Um, let's just skip that just to see the box score. 15 points from a bench player. Well, I mean, what this says to me is that we should have absolutely feasted. And we just played sloppy ball. Harris, five turnovers. Marshall, three turnovers. 15 turnovers in total. You play that kind of basketball, you're not going to win. That's, that's the short and long of it. 
Okay. Let's go to all them. Team status. Nurkic wants to talk to us about training and intensity. I'm assuming it's going to be about lowering it. That's going to be a no. Sorry, Joseph. So we're four and nine. It's not great. So we're probably a lottery team. So are we pushing them to practice or not? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like to have high intensity. We should rest before a back to back and probably after a back to back as well. Yeah, I'm good with that. What's what's the problem? I understand. Um, yeah, maybe if we lower the physical aspect and raise the fundamental and tactical aspects a little bit, maybe then. What should we focus on here as well? Maybe stamina. Let's try and. Let's try and outlast teams. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, offensive consistency. See, these are the three that I like. Consistency, consistency, chemistry. But let's, well, let's work on chemistry for now. And in terms of fundamentals, let's just, I don't know, natural. Let's try and go natural here as well, actually. Uh, just for now. Um, and, and yeah, okay, here as well. <laughs> Just keep it high intensity and then we'll improve any of the guys that we need to uh, through training camps. Quite conscious that this video is going to be quite long and quite a bitch to upload, but what can you do? Um, okay, so against the Bulls, um, you would assume that Derek Rose is going to have a big game against us. Uh, they want us to give less minutes to Steve Novak. I will do that after this game because I've been seeing his performances and they're terrible. So, yeah, um, we're getting feasted on already, which is good. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. No, no, maybe not. Didn't think so. Uh, okay. Victoria Deepo Blues practices are dot 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 ellipsis. Uh, 3 16 points, only 15, Marshall 12, and only 2 assists with 2 turnovers. That's not great. See, now Novak has a good game. Well, what can you do? I'm going to try and give Novak less minutes. I'm going to try and give them to Wilson Chandler, I think. Uh, but let's. If Ola Deeper tells me that practice is too hard, then. Ah, right, okay. So he believes practices are too easy. Okay. It's going to be a balancing act, I think. Isaiah Austin could kind of uh, remedy that. And, but let's just simulate this. I'll just get to the end of the month. check out the Steve Novak situation <laughs> in the next episode we just had a really really good quarter there uh, taking in a what 22 point lead let's just hope we can keep that going we just the Suns haven't turned up yeah, I've done a bit in the fourth quarter okay no bother no bother I imagine Fareed's probably going to say something similar to Oladipo. Um, Wilson Chandler, 20 points. There you go. You see, I feel like I'm talking about Wilson Chandler a lot, and I do apologise, but if we're going to if we're going to have a hope of making the playoffs we need to be deep and that's something that Wilson Chandler offers he, he gives us depth 
that's too easy. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I just don't want to be dropping them around. That's the only thing. It's, it's a bit of a pain. Anyway, we got a win against the Suns last time out, I think. So let's just hope for more of the same here to finish out the month. Would you ever consider trading Victor Oladipo? Not a chance. Why? Why would I even consider that? Can you ask me about Farid as well? Because Oladipo's morale shot up after that. Um, okay, simulate game. And Phoenix have just done to us what we did to them. Oh dear. Consistency. You see, this is what I wanted. This is exactly why I want consistency. Just can't seem to get it out of these young guys right now, but can we make a push in the fourth? No. Oh dear. Okay, so. I mean, I don't. The price changes thing doesn't really mean an awful lot to me. Pose and GM Trust, that, again, that doesn't really mean anything to me. I mean, I suppose Owner Trust. Play lot by 10% during negotiations, that could be quite cool. Signing players for 2% less, that could be useful. Yeah, player signing. We'll go with that. Be a while to our next level until our next upgrades available, but I mean, what can you do? We only got sh we only got done by three points there against Phoenix, so quite happy, quite happy. It's not been uh, box score, okay, sorry. Um, sixteen points and six. We had a depot for Eagle had fourteen and four rebounds. Uh, Kendall Marshall, thirteen points, four assists. I mean, it was kind of that. Our games kind of rest on Wilson Chandler a little bit. If Wilson Chandler goes off, then we generally get the win, but we can't really rely on that, can we? Just simulate through the date there, and that'll be the end of this episode. It's half an hour. Great. If you stuck with it, then thanks very much. Um, I don't see any reason why you would. But um, if you did like this, then please leave a like below. If you have anything to say about the video, then please leave a comment. Uh, and if you're new to our videos, or, or new to my videos, I should say, uh, then please click subscribe if you like this one. If you didn't, then don't. That's cool. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.